In this video guys, I'll be showing you how to make a music video. Not just any music video, but an anime music video. Stay tuned if you're a complete beginner, this video is for you. What's good everybody? My name is Peter from A Broke Visionary Collective where I help you become a better content creator. And before you watch this video, you need to watch a couple other videos like my how to edit a music video, how to have the three easiest ways of music video editing effects before you get into this video as well as the bass shake and the earthquake effect. That will help you a lot, trust me. But just like any music video, you treat it the same except it's with anime. But for copyright purposes, I just decided to pick my own clips from my own life and vlogs and put this into Premiere Pro. But of course, you're gonna have to use your anime or whatever it is that you choose. And for the easiest sake, so everyone understands, is that I'll be referring to Naruto's Shippuden season of anime. So as you can see, one of the easiest ways to have to make your music videos look a little bit more cinematic is you apply crop. Crop is having those bars, you can have an adjustment layer or have it on the layer itself. By 12.2, I do top and bottom, but you can also use crop to crop your specific videos to squares. And as you can see, what I'm doing here in my own sequence here, my little anime sequence, is I have them slivered. So I have some skinny, some fat, some wide, and I'm also applying the transform effect. What the transform effect does, it you uncheck the news shutter's composition angle and you crank that all the way to 360 and it creates motion blur. Now that you have applied crop and transform, you're able to move these clips. And if you go into your keyframes, what you'll be able to do is you can toggle these three frames to the right, three frames to the left, and you can have a little shake effect. Now, every time there's an action sequence, for example, I'm using this when I'm boxing, is that every time there's a punch, I move the keyframes left and right, one frame to the right, and then the other frame to the left. I'll show you that in Premiere. And now there's a little bit of this cinematic shake and you'll see this a lot with, let's say a character is jumping up and they land back on the ground. There's a little bit of this camera shake and you do that in Premiere by using the transform tool. And the third part of how you make an animated music video is also match cutting and applying any sort of overlays. So whether that's a thunder overlay, whether that's this, you wanna play some like Rasengan in, in like, you know, your, your shots or whatever, Having graphic overlays, you can essentially buy these from whether it's in Vato Elements, link in description for a little discount, but you can apply these on top of your video effects so it's a layer on top of your normal video to make it look a little bit more with special effects. So now, those were the basics of how you edit an anime music video. And I'm gonna jump to here to show you, but to recap, Crop is gonna be your good friend in terms of, especially if you wanna do Bluebird, as well as you want your transform tool, be able to move your clips with motion blur, and then understanding transform tool where you can actually have these little micro jitters where it emulates the camera shaking. You apply all those three together, as well as match cutting to the beat of the music, there you have it, you have your own anime music video, of course, using with anime clips. But I'll go a little bit more deeper for those who wanna get serious in Adobe Premiere. Unapply the crop, as you can see. So this is the whole video itself, and I cropped it where it was just me. But let's take that off for a second. Looks okay, but that just looks a lot more cinematic with the little strip there. And how I did that was applying the different left and right properties of the crop tool, as you can see. Next is you wanna understand the transform tool. As you can see, there are a bunch of keyframes here. So what you wanna do is I wanna turn off this cross dissolve. And every time I lined up with my punch, I went down into my transform tool and I moved left and I moved right. All right, you can move these closer or farther apart to make it a little bit more cinematic. You can see there's a little move there, see? And 
And it's all about timing the music to the, act, the action, right? So that is the transform tool. And then what I did on top of that is I applied a cross dissolve. And all you easily do that is right click and apply. So let's watch that. See? And you can also apply it to the top and bottom clips. So it just matches. Take that off. And with this clip right here, all I did was I applied the invert. You can find that in your effect panel. And I went to blue. You can change that to green, red. RGB is the usual default as it goes by. But I usually leave it on, let's say, let's keep it at red this time. So what you just learned was the crop tool, which helps you get all these different shapes as well as the transform and the base shake and the earthquake effect, as you can see right here. Get rid of this dissolve. To make it less, I would say, gimmicky, what you can also do is, uh, I'm gonna turn off this layer, duplicate it, right? And then put that layer on top and the bottom layer won't have that transform. That's how they create those little micro shakes as you see in those little videos and yes that is me pre-pandemic <laughs> that is how you make your own anime music video simply by just using crop transform and instead of all these vlog footage of these personal clips i have all you want to do is apply it on a anime so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to show you grab an adjustment layer pull this over here so instead of playing it on the clip itself what you can do is have your adjustment tool adjustment layer Drive crop. So I do 12.2 and I go bottom 12.2. And then, like I said, you apply your transform tool. Uncheck this, crank this up, and let's play a little, let's say, you form scale, position, check that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. A little. So let's say that's an action shot, right? Someone gets punched, someone gets kicked. You throw that in, makes it look a little bit more cinematic. And of course, you can also play around with colors. You can go black and white, right? Drag this clip onto here. You can make this even more cinematic by applying the crop tool to just the clip alone. Right here, don't want the mask, I want that square shape so you can have it there. And then duplicate the layer. Get rid of your crop, turn this layer off, say the mouth, right? So now, is I have these two clips here. One is of the eye, one is of the mouth. One of is of the eye, one is of the mouth. There's so many ways you can play with it in terms of having that anime music video effect, but that is the basics, right? And you play that all together, and then now you can look at this little sequence that I made, and you can actually see how it actually worked together with the music, with the match cutting, with the crop, with the transform. And here, I can even apply what I just learned or did right there. It's like, there's no really any rules to this. You can have like basic things, but have damn fun, man. Like editing these should be fun. It should not be a chore. And it's like where you can be creative and do whatever the hell you want it's because it is your video. My name is Peter, and if you want to get more serious about video editing, check all my links in the description, especially if you want 30 days free off of Skillshare, as well as if you want to get any of my own resources, everything I mention is in the links below. Check out my other videos to help you become a better editor, a music editor, whatever it is that you want to do. And you're watching a bro visionary collective where we all serve nothing, but you can always create something.